Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Clark, also known as Dr. Mel, and I'm a physician and healthcare commentator here on The Root. Welcome to the first of our Cheat Sheet series on the future of COVID in our community. Did you know that a black man brought the idea of vaccines to the United States? The first knowledge of preventing disease was brought to America by a man named Onesimus. Onesimus was an enslaved African in the early 1700s. At that time, vaccinating was commonly called inoculation. He introduced inoculation to a Puritan minister named Cotton Mather, who received Onesimus as a gift from his church congregation. When a smallpox outbreak began in Boston in 1721, Onesimus was asked by Mather about his experience with protection against smallpox, since he had come in contact with it before. He explained to Mather that he was protected from getting smallpox because of a procedure, inoculation, that he had had in Africa before being enslaved. By getting exposed to a small amount of smallpox via inoculation, it gave his body the tools to fight it off in the future. So Mather used inoculation to protect his family, friends, and other enslaved people, and it prevented almost 200 deaths in Boston during the next big smallpox outbreak. The inoculation process led to the creation of the smallpox vaccine later that century, and it's the basis for vaccines today. Now, there is some hesitancy in our community to get vaccinated, but we should know that a black man brought the technology behind vaccines, one of the most important public health strategies there is, to America. Vaccines were not created to be against black people, but rather as a result of and by black people. For more information about COVID-19 vaccines, please visit theroot.com.